Hello, welcome to my channel, Haley Marie Vintage. Um, today I am doing a video about some of the vintage finds I found in the Denver like vintage and secondhand shops. So these are shops more like your Buffalo Exchange or your small like curated boutiques as opposed to like a big thrift store like Goodwill or ARC. I love to vintage shop when I'm in Denver. The vintage scene there is very different than the vintage scene in Seattle. It's a little funkier, a little more colorful. These are from the Buffalo Exchange in Boulder. Um, so first off I found this really beautiful, it's like a linen 70s prairie dress. Um, it's super cute, I love the sleeves. It has really nice like lace details. Um, the waist seams actually are a little, like, rotted is strong, but they are not going to be holding this garment together anymore, so I will be redoing those. Um, and then it goes down into the bottom, which I think this cool extra detail it has. And then the biggest bummer on this is the hem is kind of a mess. It's a little bit, like, stained, um, and also dirty, but I'm gonna take this bit up about two inches, and then I'm gonna take this up to probably, like, my calf. Um, but I'm super excited because linen's expensive and it's nice and it's breathable. <laughs> um, I also got this, I was super excited, it was like $9, this Laura Ashley dress from the 80s. It's a little more understated for her. Um, I have two Laura Ashleys and they're both kind of loud, so it's fun to have kind of a more muted one. That is a little easier to wear to the office and like not scream 80s. Um, this one's fun too because it came with a little scrunchie. Um, the elastic is completely shot, but I think I can go in and fix it. Um, another guy that I got at the Buffalo Exchange there, which is super cute and I love, is this really, really light mint. Um, it's like, I think it's 60s. It has permanent pleats. Um, the buttons are so cute. Um, with like the cream, I don't think they're mint. I think they've like maybe gotten mintier looking in time, but they probably were cream. Um, there's just one like fix at the bust, but that's gonna be so fast and not even a problem, um, especially with how gorgeous this is. And it's a little big on me, so there's lots of room for eating. Um, this guy here, this is the top to top and skirt set. Um, I love the little buttons, I love the lace detailing they used, and you can tell from the inside that like somebody made this garment in their home, and in my opinion that is the best type of vintage, is the one that the everyday person just made in their house. Um, here is the skirt for that. Um, super cute, the waistband is so so sturdy, which I love, and it's like kind of square dancey, um, it'll be super fun to wear out like swing dancing and things like that. Um, now we're moving on to the Buffalo Exchange in Denver. This is the one off Broadway. I think they have one called the Annex, and I've never made it to that one. I probably should, because I think it's like their clearance stuff, which means it's probably a lot of vintage, but I just haven't. I don't actually really even know where it is. But first thing I got there was this nice blouse. I guess I should have buttoned it all the way up, but that's not going to happen now. Um, it has like kind of poofier sleeves. I think it's 80s or 90s. Um, I like the yellow. I don't own a ton of yellow. So I'm very excited, and I like the, like, weird floral print on this. Um, next up is another really long 70s dress. Um, I love the collar, and again, I love, like, kind of the rickrack detail. Um, I feel like, as you can see from this haul, I love stuff like this. I love the, like, kind of, like, folksiness almost of it. Um, it feels kind of more Western, and as a, someone from Denver living in Seattle, having something a little more Western is appealing. <laughs> Um, it also has like the super cute sleeves, um, and then um, it'll be real easy hem, there's no ruffle, there's no second layer. Um, unlike the next guy here, the next guy will be a nightmare to hem, but it was so cute. It's this really gorgeous 70s, again, really long dress. It has like the nice keyhole. Wow, I'm doing an interesting job showing that. There you go. Um, has a keyhole in the back, the zipper is super solid. Um, I like, again, this little lace detailing here, and I love ruffles that are up there on the neck. This one is, again, really long. I'm probably going to hem it up to about my knee, um, but it's kind of a multi-layered skirt, and I'm going to have to move the ruffle up, so it's going to be an interesting hem experiment, I guess, <laughs> but I'm always excited to, like, learn a new skill um, when it comes to hemming because I'm a little bit short, so I have to hem a lot of things. Um, 
The this one is also from that Buffalo Exchange in Denver off Broadway. Um, he's super cute, kind of an impressionistic print. Um, I really love those. I have um, my favorite thing to collect are dresses that have like kind of impressionistic fruits on them. I have two or three of them, um, and they're um, my absolute favorite. This one's cute, has a bow. I almost didn't get it or pick it up because it looked horrible on the hanger, but it's super cute on. Um, the last thing I got at that Buffalo Exchange was this guy here. It's a really nice tooled leather belt. Um, it fits my natural waist, like, kind of barely. I actually have to have it on the loosest one here, which never happens for me, so this is exciting. On the topic of belts, there's this guy here. I got this at... They're called Style Encore. There's a Style Encore in Centennial, Colorado. Um... Uh, this is just, it's a nice leather belt. It kind of looks a little bit patented, a little bit snaky. Um, it's brown. It fits my waist. If it fits my waist, I'm buying it usually, unless it's in really bad condition because I have such a hard time finding belts. Um, there is also, well, this one's cheating. So I got this wall in Denver, but it's from Seattle because my mom picked this up for me from a vintage shop when she was up here for Christmas. Um, but this is what it looks like. Uh, it's another kind of impressionistic um, floral dress. Um, this one's a short sleeve, cotton. The other one is definitely polyester. Um, and then I got, so I go to, there's two vintage shops off Broadway that I enjoy. One is called Sewn. Um, Sewn, they carry like both genuine vintage and then they also remake a bunch of things that they thrift. So you'll find some really cool coats. Um, that they'll kind of like add patches to and you'll find really beautiful cashmere sweaters that they'll like Do like different embroidery like techniques on it and then they'll add they'll somehow like cut off part of the sweater and add ruffles Like it's it's truly amazing what they do there. It's always like very inspiring going um, But there I got this basic slip. It's like boring. I guess I like find it cute for a nude slip because I own a lot of these because I use them a lot um, I like to protect my vintage by like not having it against my skin. Um, I personally like sweat a lot and kind of have a lot of oil so I want to protect my vintage so I if I see one I buy one of these. Um, next up also from Sewn, here's their cute little tag, um, is this um, probably 80s dress. Um, it's really cute, it's gingham, um, it's homemade. Um, the gathers in the breast area are really unfortunate on me, but I think I can tame them. It's going to take a little bit of pinning and sewing and experimenting, but I'm sure I can do it because it's way easier to take away extra fabric than to add fabric. Oh, and if you can see this, it's super, super cute. Um, I don't know how they did this, but it's embroidered and then like cut out of the gingham. And then you can see like this layer of tulle under it. It's so cool. And it's why I bought the dress despite the maybe catastrophic alterations I have planned for it. Um, last up is the stuff from, I think it's Boss Vintage. Um, they can be slightly overpriced, but if you know your vintage prices and you know what you're looking for, um, they're a really great place to shop. Um, they sort by decade there which like I always feel kind of mixed about because I'm not a super big decade preference person. But if you are, you can just stick in the 50s or in the 40s. Um, they have a little bit of 20s and 30s, not too much. Um, I guess it's due to being the Wild West. Um, but they do have some really great 60s. Um, this is a, I'll show you the top. The top is the like absolute winner for this, but the skirt is really freaking cute as well. Um, it's like, you can't necessarily tell, but it's like these little like kind of like folksy flowers. It's a really nice thick, I would say cotton. Um, it almost, actually I think it is a corduroy, which is fun. Um, nothing like a corduroy suit, um, from the sixties. <laughs> um, but this is the jacket. Um, I probably won't wear it as a jacket. I will be wearing this guy as a top. Um, this would not be thick enough for a coat for Seattle, and it's tight enough that I couldn't really wear much under it besides, like, a blouse. But it's super cute. You can see it has, like, ruffling here. It has that kind of rickrack type trim feel to it. It has really beautiful, like, black buttons. And then the sleeves are, again, wonderful. 
Uh, I love sleeve details like this. Um, I like feel like that's something modern clothes really lack is a sleeve detail. So I'm always pumped when I find a good sleeve. Um, last guy that I got from that shop is this little one. Um, this is a beautiful blouse. It's a cotton blouse from the 50s. They had a ton of these. I don't know where they found. They found a ton of dead stock of all these 50s blouses, which I almost never see. If I see dead stock in vintage shop, it's usually like 80s or 90s, which like, I guess 90s is vintage now. I guess it's 2020, but um, it has lace detailing down the front, a cute little puffy sleeves and a Peter Pan collar. I am all about this shirt because I own a lot of white blouses, but I don't own many that are um, short sleeved. Um, I actually don't own a ton of short sleeve blouses in general because I only really got into blouses recently and they're all long sleeve because it's winter time. Um, but that is it for this video. Um, I will be posting also a Denver vintage thrift haul, which will be from Goodwill, ARC, stores like that. Um, so those are, will be coming. Um, I found lots of really good things, lots of silk, my fave. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you watched and haven't subscribed already, please do so. But that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye. 50s. You don't see 50s that often. Well, I'll investigate that later. Hopefully I'm not repairing this one. <laughs> oh, it's still recording. Hello.